first fish for this team. 4.14, 4.14. Gonna lock in at 326. These anglers were going for the big fish. You nervous because you keep looking back and you think the next guy's got one bigger than yours. So you, you, you sit there and you're nervous till it's over with. 60 teams spent the day using their own techniques to catch the biggest red fish. Patience. Yes. Patience. Yeah. That's it, huh? That's it. And it worked for Stan and Bobby because they took home first prize with their two fish weighing in at a total of nine pounds. It's just the, the love of the sport, you know, just you got to love the fish. We both love the fish. This one will stay all day. She's never, anytime we've gone fishing, as many times as we've gone, she's never said, I'm done, ready to come home. She fish all day. You know, just, just, it's just a fun time. We make our family vacations out of it. And the Allens say they had a little luck too. Stan's mom recently passed and Bobby kept a blue scarf close by her the whole time. This is big. This is hers. Yeah. The participating anglers say it's all about the camaraderie out on the water and when they get to the weighing in time for the teams. That's good. They're all our yeah. friends. All of them, you know, you're pulling for them, you know, we still want to win them all. Don't misunderstand, but you know, you're glad to see them when they, when they do well too. Makes you feel good. But the biggest winner of all is Georgetown County. The economic impact of the tournament is, well, a little bit bigger than some of these fish. We probably spend a thousand dollars in three or four days. For, you know, the time that they're here, Georgetown County is in the spotlight. And of course, we, we think that's a wonderful thing. We love Georgetown County and we want everybody else to see how great it is.